Chad, you got to level with me, man. Is this shit still crackling? Be honest with me, man. Are they blood diamonds? Jacob, don't lie to me, man. Welcome to the Northern Line Live Super Show, the Wednesday, March 25th, 2015 edition. I, as always, am your host, Northern Line, joined by my esteemed co-host, Rockley Smile. Hello. Hi. Oh, Nick. What? You're crackling a little bit. Don't tell me that. Say something It'll loud. S- like, imagine that Karnoff 2 just crowd. got greenlit. Oh, shit. All right. It's it's all right. My mic's been doing a thing lately where when I start talking into it just after starting a recording, it seems to crackle for like one second and then it goes right away. Is that happening? I feel like I got to put you through like a Turing test or something like that. There's just like a little bit of Robo Nick in there somewhere. But it's not like on the surface. It's like when you taste like a cookie and you're like, I think they use cane sugar instead of like refined sugar. Oh, I don't like that. That's the worst kind. Cane sugar is the best kind. Nick. Not being able to tell if I'm crackling is the worst, though. All right. I shouldn't be crackling. I, it sounds okay. It's just a little weirdness. Maybe it's on my end. Well, we've got a very simple uh, docket for you today. A very classic docket. A little Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And then in our middle section, we're going to be playing some goofball goals. In our final section, uh, we're going to be playing a little uh, Spelunky. I'm excited for it. Nick, would you like to provide me with a seed? It depends. Is my crackle gone? Uh... I think so, yes. A bit of Robo Nick. Robo Nick sounds cool. That's not the same thing, though. I'm not a robot. It's just shitty sound. Did you switch your microphone to another USB port or perhaps plug in something right next to your microphone? Yeah, I probably did that. I did a lot of things in the last few minutes, so I don't even know exactly what I did. Oh, perfect, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not All playing right. Bloodborne on the stream because it's on the PS4, which is a little over on the other side of our house here. At some point, there will be Bloodborne content, I think, now that I've actually made some progress in the game. Uh, but but it's not going to make it on the stream today. Might make it on my stream if my shit works. Might make it on Nick's stream if his shit works. Let's see. We're doing a Samson run today. How's Samson? that sound? Samson, okay. I can do it. And the seed is... H-E-2-A. Yeah, Hitua. Yeah, I'm with you. 4-E-H-F. 4-E-H-F. 4 F. Got it. We're in. Samson run. Why Samson today, Nick? I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's nothing behind that. I just picked it at random. Well, uh, I'm, I'm a relative fan of the run so far. You couldn't have done more than one room, really? Yeah, but it could have been like a really good room, you know? I went up. You must have went right. Why didn't you go into the curse room, dog? Oh, because I never do that. You got the HP necessary for it. Yeah, but I want to make sure I don't do something stupid on this floor, so oh, I'm going to wait until after the boss. It's the basement, dog. You're going to be fine. Oh. oh, it's going to be one of these runs. I just got the item. Yeah. What, what's... I'm not going to tell you what the item is. I tell you where the freaking boss is. You don't... Oh, fuck. It's one floor away from the start. I tell you where the boss is, this guy won't tell me what the item is. You see the kind of the like preferential treatment I give people and then what I get in return? You want me to tell you what the item is? 21 months. Oh my god, thank you very much for the subscription. I already got the item, Nick. I've just chosen not to... I'm not sharing any information or insight with you from this point on. Why? Because of your, your attitude. Why? Has made it inadvisable. I thought we were sharing information. It turns out this is information is a one-way street. I got street. Dr. Fetus, all right? I'm aware of the, the item at this point in time, because I have, have achieved it for myself as well. Now I'm going to go in to the other place that you told me to go, because it's apparently great. I mean, it's not great, but it's like, okay. Got Demon Baby out of the Devil Room. Yeah, that's it's okay. I actually feel a lot better about it now that I know Dr. Fetus is going to be here. It's kind of like a nice little, uh, you know, hedging your bet a little bit there. Hedging your bit. That was I me. I feel super excited about this stuff. What? You should be super excited about Demon Baby when you have Dr. Fetus, man. Why? Because you've, uh, you've already got uh, the Demon Baby. It's going to help you out a lot when enemies get close to you. Oh, yeah, that's true. Absolutely. It's not a bad deal at all quite a good good situation to be in if I'm being honest with you you're saying it's a one run it's absolutely not a one run dr. fetus is actually one of my least favorite items in the game 
I like bombs, but there's a pretty high chance of me hurting myself with this. Yeah, it's even riskier than Ipecac. I was promised Nuclear Throne. What is this? Well, we, you're in luck. We watched, uh, or we played Nuclear Throne. It's, you watched it on Monday's stream. You can go check out the VOD if you're interested. And also, thank you, Blue Hermit Dog. Thank you for the subscription. 21 months in a row. I uh, have been playing a little bit of Nuclear Throne in my off time, actually. I'm thinking that might it might finally be time for me to get like really into that game. I almost beat the throne yesterday. I just accidentally picked up a freaking bomb in the shop. That is probably not the best idea yeah, considering that was an accident. the item that you have. Have you considered Goofball Goals is terrible and I hate it and you could replace it with literally anything? I have never considered that. I Dude, honestly love that game. People, they, they're their own worst enemies because if they were honest in their criticism, I would take it more at face value. But instead, people go, why is Goofball Goals on the docket every time? I'm like, we haven't played Goofball Goals in like... Two weeks, two and a half weeks. We've kept it about once per week, I think. Yeah, maybe even less. I thought that's lately. a pregnant boy. <laughs> is that not an item? Pregnant boy is not an item, no. It uh, will be. That's just, that's the name of my new Robert Heinlein inspired sci-fi quadrilogy. Uh, Fleep, thank you very much for the resub. I appreciate it. Much appreciated, and I appreciate it. Oh shit, this could be great, actually. What is going on out there? Do you hear that sound? I got, like no. some, I got some drilling going on in my kitchen. Kate's trying to install a shoe rack or something. I don't know what's going on. She's drilling up your kitchen? I don't know what she's doing, man. She's got a home improvement streak in you her right escaped, now. You escaped the drilling on the ceiling. Now it's in your kitchen? You think I don't know that? That guy's following you around. Uh, <laughs> anytime you say home improvement, that's got to be the reality, of course. I miss that kid. What happened to him and his jokes? Did he uh, take off? Is he a millionaire yet? Probably he was like self-aware, and then people saw the video on the internet, thought he wasn't being self-aware, and harassed the shit out of him, and then he just deleted all his shit, and is gonna become like an accountant instead of a comedian oh. now. Way to go, internet! You did it again! That's uh, a long story to attribute to a thing that most people probably don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There was a video of a, uh, probably like a 17-year-old kid doing a interpretation of uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor Thomas Jonathan Tim the Toolman Taylor Thomas from Home Improvement and uh, they got posted around the internet people would be like this kid's not funny ah I thought it was funny I mean it was kind of like really tongue and cheeky kind of like ridiculous it was some Tim and Eric shit like yeah it, it was it was self-aware intentional and cringe yeah exactly intentional cringe that's a cringe core that's there's your <laughs> genre for it Oh, goodness. Alright, I'm gonna sacrifice my spirit heart in here. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the deals of the devil thus far. I gotta figure out what's... What... What's going on out there? Kate's fixing... She's actually building a shelf right now. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm impressed. Well, that's exciting. You guys are gonna have a new shelf soon. Uh, no, she's she took oh, apart the, yeah. the one we oh. already had. <laughs> you guys are gonna have another shelf you yeah. had already soon. Nick likes bad rats is just subscribed. Uh, up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. You're banned. You're banned from Nick's chat. Yep. That's a pleasant noise. All right, get, so you got drilling on your end and freaking fuzz on my mic on my end. So what concerns me is that the hammering is coming closer. Wow. Like, that can't be a good sign. <laughs> you think this, she's coming for you? Yeah, or this is just like a really big shelf. Either way, it frightens me a little bit. I thought you knew about the shelf already. I didn't know about the shelf. This is a surprise shelf as far as I'm concerned. You said you had the shelf already. Well, I don't I didn't, thought it was fine, though. I was well, clearly something wrong with it. She wouldn't have been taken apart. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Better be something wrong with it, or there's going to be something wrong with it. I go to the doctor for an hour today, and all of a sudden, I got new shelves showing up in my my house, or existing shelves reconfigured into a new fashion. There's worse things to have happen. You could come home, and everything could be gone. Is that the standard by which you want to like <laughs> gauge your life? Well, I went out, and oh, my whole yeah. shit was not robbed. So I guess like it's a pretty good day. <laughs> Fists so heavy. Thank you very much for the resubscription. By the way, I appreciate it. Much appreciated. Thank you. Very appreciative Based of that. on what you said about devil rooms, I'm gonna guess this Krampus gives Krampus his head and not. Lump no, of coal. he gives lump of coal. I'm just not really sure how lump of coal affects uh, the bombs, but I think it does make them better. They're not black. Oh yeah, they are. 
just took a second. I don't see why that oh, matters, but yeah. okay. Well, I mean, that means that they get coal power, right? Well, nice backtracking. Minecrafting with KMJ, thank you for the subscription as well. I'm gonna assume KMJ is different from TMJ. That'd be it's a uh, TMJ. T it's like lockjaw or something? Yeah, it's like a jaw related disorder. There's TMZ. Right, that's something completely different. That's a brain related disorder. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck That's you, offensive. Harvey, whatever your name is, I've forgotten. Oswald? I don't think it's Harvey Oswald, I don't even know that. It's Harvey Schwab. <laughs> Harvey Urban Guitar. Well, I mean, you can say, Fuck you, Harvey Lee Oswald, and not be wrong. Who the fuck is Harvey Lee Oswald? Are you talking about Lee Harvey Oswald? Yeah. Harvey Lee Oswald is just an innocent man <laughs> with an unfortunate name. <laughs> I roped him in by accident, sorry, man. <laughs> You're watching. That sounds like a Harvey Oswald. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh man. I, I wonder if Mathis is asleep right now. I bet he probably is, to be honest with you. I should call him on the stream. You know what's fucked up is that he always comes into the Skype chat and is like, What are you fuckers talking about? You guys talk so much. Every time he does that, I'm recording Rebirth. So from my perspective, he's the only person talking in the Skype chat and he's a, like a piece of shit. <laughs> Because every message that he had, like, you have a message, you're like, does anybody have blah, blah, blah? And Bear's oh like, God. hey, we, we need to be ready to do work and blah, blah, blah. And Mathis just comes in and says, fuck you guys for talking so much, thereby being the only needless bloating to the conversation to begin I with. I can't believe you're throwing him under the bus when it's almost always been me that said that exact thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like he deserves it more. All right. So I got three bombs coming out of my face at every moment here. Yeah, this is something else. We're on the we're in the same boat there. <laughs> I'm kind of into it. I got some extra pill room as well. Let's see what this pill is. Tears down. Probably wouldn't take that one. Why did NL just tweet that the Northern Lion starts soon at 6:12 p.m.? YouTube's been having trouble processing videos, so the uh, video titled "The Northern Lion Live Super Show Starts Soon" probably just went live. And thereby was tweeted away from my account. How's it going, Kate? What what shelf was uh, having some issues? You're welcome. Oh yeah, okay. I, I was aware of that shelf-related concern. We should play some Mario Party 10. Yeah. We can do so now that the shelf is stabilized. Yeah. All right. And you gotta watch out, because Tomo will step on that shelf, he'll knock it right down. You gotta watch what? You gotta watch out for Tomo, you don't want to knock down your shelf. Cats have been jumping all over everything, man. Well, now it's stable, so he can jump on it, it's safe. Yeah, I guess we should just, uh, employ standard, like, cat-shaming tactics in our house and unstabilize all our furniture. <laughs> that should stop it. <laughs> Spray that green apple shit all over it all. Oh, I don't know why, man. Tomo's like a, he's like a half-cat, half-anti-cat, because that shit does not work. <laughs> He just bites it harder. Tomo has a taste oh, for green yeah. apple? That's adorable. I don't know if it's adorable, man. Harvey Lee Oswald has just subscribed. Up down <laughs> oh, to the no. side. Welcome to the Lion Pro. <laughs> it's like Ruka keeps breaking into our onion drawer. And we're like, why do you want the onions? They're, they're camp poison. <laughs> he thinks he figured out a secret, though. I know. Like, he's cats, like, check it out. Cats love it. I'm in the onion drawer. I'm like, you're surrounded by poison, you fucking idiot. I'm not meant to be here, so it's extra good. Apparently... You know, a cat needs to eat, like, a staggering amount of raw onions to suffer from the ill effects of onion poisoning, but still. I'd rather not be in there, you know? Yeah. I hope your cats never get poisoned by onions. I hope it doesn't happen either, but if it does, I'll, like, I'll feel bad, but at the same time, I'll also be like, well, you did it to yourself. We secured it with, like, 12 elastic bands, and you still spend, like, right. all night doing some Mathis <laughs> Games, the escape it shit, trying to open it up. I mean, I really wanted to just say that sentence more than anything. I'm with about you, Without hoping your cats don't get poisoned by onions. Um, I should say thank you to Adam Misk also for that subscription a little while ago. Thank you so much for that. Wait, you don't have an onion cupboard? It's got, like, onions and potatoes and then, like, various, like, flowers and sugars and stuff. Yeah, the root-based things yeah. go in there. That's where you'd put, like, some turnips if you had them, maybe? I don't know. Radishes? Yeah, maybe. Like a beet? Maybe a beet? Parsnips? Are Perhaps. parsnips in there? I don't know, man. Turnips? You said turnips. I said turnips. That's not very nice, King Fun Time. That's not really living up to your name, is it? Don't say that. 
guys are so fast. Uh, okay. I don't know, Nick. This, this is a weird run right now. I don't feel like I'm going to live through this one. It's not living up to Monday's potential as of right now. That could change. Well, I mean, Monday was one of the bigger, better seeds that I've laid on you. Pardon me? <laughs> I don't know. You kiss your mother with that mouth? I don't kiss my mother. That's probably for the best. It's kind of weird. Some people are into it. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing against them, but I just don't do it. You aren't supposed to keep upper onions in a cupboard with potatoes. What are you talking about? Oh, they spread some kind of mold or germ or something over to them. It's not like I got like a like a whole harvest worth of onions. I got like three onions and two potatoes down there. Oh, yeah, you need at least four yeah. onions for that to become a thing. So you're fine. X Circanix. Up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. Where the heck is my, uh, chance so mad there's a stone chest. Where's the stone chest that I missed? Oh, yeah. And Tom is on. Thank you for the subscription as well. Stone chest in the secret room. Oh. Where? Are you guys fucking with me? Nick, there's no stone chest here. I don't even know what you're talking about, so I'm fine. Thank you, though. And thank this you, scum. Coconut Pocky, for the subscription. That was very kind of you. Curse. It's in the curse room. See, one person in chat says the wrong room, and then all of a sudden, it all goes fucky. Why didn't I blow up that stone chest? You got a really good point. Oh, good. Nick, the stone chest contains Eve's bird foot. Yeah, I got that. You got a problem? I got Lazarus's rag, so maybe I'll come back as Lazarus after I die. I think you're actually faster than me on this run. Yeah, I, oh, I freaking killed myself with a bomb there by accident. Oh, well. You did? I came back. No, I came back. With Lazarus's rags? Yeah. Oh, okay. I have a long run ahead of me with this one health that I've got. <laughs> did you Thank get you, there's... Countdown 36 for six months in a row. Did you get there's options? No, I haven't seen that yet. Take a guess as to where it is. Um, probably the shop. Mm, it's where it usually shows good up. Guess. I would guess the shop. Like I got a and decent thank you, Tom is odd as well. I got a decent amount of HP, but this run is still a little. It's a little uh, not so fantastic. Could be you one. Say it's like funked up a little bit. Ah, oh, there's a little torkel going on here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, just Joshin Games. Thank you very much to you as well. That better you be, like, if you're a content creator, you better have, like, a catchphrase. You be just like, joshing? Hudson Hawk on the NES is the best game ever. Just joshing. Make sure to like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. If you like my oh, please. Jokes. Please make that. Make that video, Just Joshing Games. I want it. I'll subscribe to you if you make that video. Tell me about it. Don't, that's like some YouTube fucking terrorism right there. What do you mean? If you make that, if you don't make that video, I won't subscribe to you. No, your I didn't say I won't. I said if you do that, I will. Your subscription is literally worthless. You just what? you you pursue oh, the content that makes yeah. you passionate about it, and then you live it, live it. How do you know Josh and Games isn't very passionate about saying that joke? I don't know, man. It's my joke. You owe me if you say it. Oathkeep, thank you very much for the subscription. God. Don't listen to him. You make whatever your heart desires, even if it's his joke. Don't make my joke. He doesn't own all the jokes. I own, I own that joke. I'm trademarking it as we speak. Oh my my God. lawyer watches the show. You're playing Isaac right now. I'm trying. I'm actually playing Samson right now, thanks to somebody. I mean, you could have said no. All right, Taylor Swift. She has a song that says that, I think. Really? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a YouTube terrorist, Danny. <laughs> Just because I won't play Ape Escape for you. Ah! Yeah, it was fucked up. Uh, this is the first time I think I've hit myself with the bombs, though. I got three of those so far. I got a Mask of Infamy. Does that help? I mean, it might, actually. With bombs, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I think it might. I, I mean, at the very least, it'll block oh, some bullets. Yeah. Nick's parents have just subscribed. Well, you That's know. That's nice, thanks. I'll take that subscription as an apology, I guess, for... I like that they subscribe to you. Yeah, man. <laughs> They've already supported you enough, I guess. Yeah, no, that's probably right. Uh, oh, this is an interesting little lucky so-and-so here, isn't it? What do you think about this situation, Nick? You should be, by my calculations, calculations, you should be like right here anyway. 
Uh, I'm in a room with like four red turrets right now. All right. I don't think I'm near where you are. I mean, you should be pretty close because you were talking about Mask of Infamy and then I got Mask of Infamy. Oh, I might be like a room ahead of you then. Well, you've Locked down. You've chosen not to go to the proper rooms then, my friend. You've chosen not to go to the proper rooms. Which one is full health? No, that was the lockdown. This is a really shitty pill rotation. Yeah, it's not fantastic. It's mostly bad. I think more bad than good. I got one tears up, I think that was it. Can you no longer play the Demon Judgment and the Blood Bank with one play? You fucking scumbags. I used to do that, and then people would be like, Oh, but you can play the Demon Judgment twice instead. And now I play the Demon Judgment twice instead, which I think is a much better value. And people go, Oh, but you didn't play the Blood Bank. Wow. You gotta sort your sort your priorities out, mates. Oh, Nick Fuck. didn't... Nick didn't get an arcade, okay. Yeah, there's some variability with the seeds, I guess. What's your What's your money at, though? Six cents. Ooh. I, I spent a lot of it. You're missing out on a pretty sweet arcade here, Nick. That's a weird thing to say. That doesn't usually come up. I got Gimpy from... This motherfucker. I got Gimpy from the Demon Judgment, which has since paid out with, like, a number of, of uh, hearts. And then I got IV bag from the one blood bank. I got blood bag from the other blood bank. And I got black bean from our uh, our little friend regular judgment. I this brown spider lived through three bombs detonating on top of him somehow. Wow. What show the you hell my, is his deal? Show you my brown spider. Maggie's bow. I got, needed that. Got me kicked out of the UFC. That's gross. People uppercutting you in the butthole or something? Yeah, man. Did you just suck one it's in one day? It's the only rectum-based uh, finisher in the whole game. Rectum-based finisher. Oh my god. I'm so bad. Alright, I have 25 cents now. You find an arcade, you should visit upon it because it can give you great stuff. We'll see. Someone asked me if we're ever going to play Choice Chamber again. I don't see why we wouldn't, but at the same time, it needs to make some like substantial strides, I think, before we we'll look at it again, right? I like coming back to that game like once every uh, once every few months. Yeah. I like it a lot. I, I really like the integration that it has with uh, Twitch chat. It's the best game, or the game that does that best right now, for sure, and I think it's going to become a slightly more mainstream thing in the future. It's a cool idea. Nick, you should really go to the secret room on the caves too. I mean, why not? I mean, I have free bombs. I could do that. Yeah. I could do anything, really. W wouldn't necessarily go that far. Let's start at bombing through walls and we'll see if we can, like, bomb through the sky eventually. Why not Key Beggar? Because I want to have, uh... Oh, jeez. Uh, I want to save my keys for the chest later. If we get a Key Beggar... Like, a key beggar doesn't usually pay out very well right now, but a key beggar on the chest is amazing. I think the key beggar should be buffed a little bit. Oh, yeah. Nerfed? No, buffed. You said it's amazing. It is on the chest, but it rarely shows uh -huh. up. In the rest of the game, it's like straight up useless. Vatro Vlad, thank you very much for the subscription. Probably the most bunged up pronunciation of that name you've ever had. I have golden key, but the golden key doesn't mean that you get to play the key beggar for free. Oh. You still sacrifice keys to the key beggar, but you can open his golden chest for free. If I get Guppy's tail, huh. I might consider doing the key beggar. Thanks I'll... for telling me about the secret room. That's pretty good, huh? That might be the first time I've ever picked up Transcendence, actually. For real. Amazingly enough, I think it might be. Interesting. Ooh, that's pretty good. But like one of the three or four items I didn't have oh, picked up. Oh yeah. And Willie Van Kerr 69, thank you very much for the subscription as well. Oh, I love that guy. And Talia Tate, thank you for the one year resub. Even though you always yell at me in the sub streams, no matter what game I play. Somebody's got to do it. That's true. Yeah. I get off too easy sometimes. I agree. It's nice to have somebody keep me honest. Jesus juice or squeezy? Uh, I took Jesus juice. But I but was kind of. really need it? <laughs> I had kind of like the same question. I was like, does Jesus Juice even help with this run? Squeezy I, gives me health. I need some health. If you need some health, then I think you could absolutely be totally fine taking uh, Squeezy. Done. Good deal. But this is a seeded run, so it doesn't count. It's only seeded for him. Uh -huh. I made the seed. 
Northern Lion chat, you think I don't look at you? I do. <laughs> ah. Got a cuff drop. Caught behind my gum there. So now that you got free bombs, I'm gonna bomb open every single skull I find. That's Maybe it'll be a black heart. That's a really good idea, Nick. Be silly not to, really. You should try to get IV bag as well. Yeah, I've heard of that. Oh, there's Guppy's tail. IV bag as Samson is like a really, really nice uh, time. I wonder if I've just maybe never gotten IV bag, and that might be another one of the very few. You items. have to have gotten IV yeah? bag. I would be amazed. Like I can, I can see the situation where it's not, like where you've never gotten it, but I have to believe you've gotten it at least yeah, once. I probably have. I would be blown away. I mean, I'm not gonna go and look through the freaking list of a million items to find it. Like By you, the same token, if I can get it, there's no harm in getting it again anyway. You can't remember a time when you got an IV bag? I can, but I don't remember a lot of things. Hmm, alright. It's possible, like, one of my last items was Skatol. Which is just kind of embarrassing. Yeah, what's up with that? How did you manage that one? Oh, I never play the the shitty uh, three skull the Monty. Three skull, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, a lot of blue hearts coming out of these fires. Oh my god, almost all of them gave me them. And they counted as two for some reason. Why is that? Maggie's bow. Oh yeah. I haven't had that enough that I'm used to its effect yet. I get confused by it all the time. It's just on this run, like, I, I don't have synergies clouding my brain. I pretty much just got, like, you know, IV bag, uh, triple shot bombs. I spiraled out of control in a good way. I went from having three health to full. I'm glad to hear it. What, what is, like, you have 12 red heart containers? Well, three reds and then oh, all okay. spirit hearts. Yeah. I was wondering there. That would be pretty amazing to get full from red. Hmm. <laughs> Got a lot of bombs for someone who doesn't need any. <laughs> NL, will you be doing a let's play of Bloodborne? I'm I'm half planning on it. Yeah, I haven't played as much as I should have. When my when my voice heals, maybe I'll go down because I I've beaten uh beaten a little bit of the game so far. I've got enough fodder for at least like a, a few episodes to record, I think. Uh, and I'm gonna try to do what I did for Dark Souls One, which is basically just like play a little bit ahead of where I am in the videos. And then have some familiarity for it, because like if I did it blind, man, I died. I do it blind. Yeah, there you go. You can watch Nick do it. I <laughs> I died like 50 times in the first area of the game, so that's embarrassing. Somewhere in that vicinity, it is actually a little <laughs> embarrassing for real. I mean, I was half joking, but also that area isn't that hard. <laughs> How much have you played? Now I thought you played for like a half an hour. I played it at PAX. Yeah, well, you for like eight minutes. No, it was like a half an hour. We did not. We were play. in there for nearly a half an hour. We did not play for a half hour. Yeah, packs. we did. We were in line for less than. Kate'll vouch hour. for me. We were not playing for a half hour. Kate'll man. vouch for me. Kate was the lo the last one alive out of all of us. Nick, will I be playing Pillars of Eternity? Probably not. It's like a really long game, and I don't see much into getting into it. It's like a long, long experience. Long game. It's not that I think you wouldn't watch the videos, chat. It's actually out of respect for you that I'm not going to do like a fully blind one because I respect your time. I know a lot of people would watch it, but at the same time, I don't want to. I don't want to be playing the game. Like, here's the deal: if I beat it once, off camera, and then do it on camera, I'll probably be able to finish a let's play in like a month. If I just do it straight up blind, it'll take me like three months because I'll mostly be playing it for the channel. I'll be shitty at it, and you know. I'll be fighting the final boss in fucking July. I think it's it's better for me if I uh, it's better for me and for you actually if I just kind of take it at my own pace first and then go through it in a let's play style format. Also helps with the back seating a little bit. Oh, that gets no, pretty annoying. For souls, you're just gonna like that's just. I know you're happen. gonna, but like you'll get ten times more. I think if you just to kind of flail for a second. That's true. Yeah. Because like clearly he needs my help. I'm gonna come to your rescue. That's the thing, I, I love the Souls community. 
However, there are parts of it I hate. Like, I really hate when people are like, oh, you know, you're playing Souls for the first time? Don't listen to anybody's feedback. By the way, your build is suboptimal as shit. You gotta go talk to this guy right now and, you know, sequence break this shit. Go beat Havel right now and yada, yada, yada. And you're like... But don't I listen. I just want to have my own experience. Exactly. Oh, that's great, man. Yeah, you should totally go through Dark Souls like by yourself for the first time. By the way, here's like the solutions to everything in the game that might give you some problems. I saw that you died once in Sen's Fortress when you were going through a blind. Here's my tips so that that never happens. Like, yeah, a dying is just awful and should be avoided at all times. Well, when you have a 40 second load time punishment, I guess there's that. The load times are crazy. Yoshi Zoru. Yoshi. Zo Yoshimura. Yoshizo Yoshimura. Took me a second there because it was not capitalized, at least in my chat. Thank you for the resub, and I'm sorry I didn't see it on Sunday. And thank you, Ananapan1, for the uh, two month subscription. Much appreciated. Secret rooms. Jump? Ooh. Come on. Yeah, I was he wants feeling... that shit. A lot of people still swear by that as like, one of the best items in the game. You could just get flying. Yeah, but I think, like, if you jump, it gives you some invincibility frames or something. Oh, so they use it as a tactical roll or something. Something along those lines, yeah. All right, I didn't think about that part. This floor is, yeah, okay. Whew. I took a three-month break from video games because of Sen's fucking fortress. That's crazy, Hi. man. No, that was not me. You're going to have to ask the person in chat about that one. Yeah, it was. Why? That probably annoyed them. It's easy. Try it again. I'll give you tips. I'll backseat the whole thing. Souls is one of those weird games, man. I remember having exactly the uh, series, as I should say. I remember having exactly the same experience in Dark Souls 2, playing it blind with the review copies with you and Josh. And being like, this... Bo We're talking about, like, the rotten. It would be like, this boss is so hard... He's way too hard. No one's ever gonna beat him. Everyone's no gonna one's ever gonna beat him. Yeah, everyone's just and gonna no complain has. about this all the time. And then you fight him like the second time, like after you beat him once, you're just like, oh, that's easy. Like there were so many times in Dark Souls 2 where I had that exact same thing happen. I mean, the no one's still beating him to this day. Although I will, aware. I will say that there were some bosses in Dark Souls 2 that I beat on the first try, and it was kind of like, you know, maybe this is because you have an affinity for Dark Souls, it's like a little, little easier. Bloodborne circumvents a lot of that so far. There is not really, you can't just like post up with your shield up and like circle around an enemy. Uh, so I think it's got a whole different set of skills to, to learn or relearn, which is actually kind of nice. Yeah, I want shit to be easy. Yeah, exactly. I agree, man. That's why they added 100 enemies in everywhere. There's a lot of enemies. You, you will face a lot of enemies. That is definitely not false. Do you have any tips for uh, beating all the enemies? Yeah, uh, don't be afraid to use your uh, your transformation attacks. Where you turn into a werewolf. No, nah, that's a different game. You gotta be careful with accidental spoilers, man. You're gonna <laughs> all right, up, sorry. You're gonna end up antagonizing a lot of people, even... <laughs> you're like, I was joking, but my life is ruined. You know? Oh, no. Yeah, um, you know, the one that makes your, uh, your sword or your cleaver or whatever weapon you choose tr transform kind of gives it a wider arc. So you can do like a quick attack, then transform it, and it'll do like an arc attack that'll hit multiple enemies. And then you can transform it back, and it does like a, a finisher kind of. That's fun. It's a fun game, so I'm having a good time with it. Took a shot speed up. I hope that pays off. Pace it myself. I'm pacing myself too. I haven't and played I noticed, any of it. yeah. And now, how are lion strats? I've used lion strats somewhat so far to relatively good effect. Enemies still do seem to have the kind of souls thing where if you just run far enough away, they'll lose aggro. I intend to not die at all through the whole game, so I'll probably use a lot of that. By all means, yeah. Good luck. Is there a hard mode? I can't wait until you start playing, to be honest with you. Why? I'm gonna give you zero tips, and I'm gonna just sit back and watch. I just want to know if there's a hard mode. Watch, What's the, wrong with watch that? the tears. You think that I'm gonna cry because the game is too hard? Yeah, man. You cry every time you get nine lives, even though it's the best item in the game. There's no item in Bloodborne that's as good as. I'll nine race lives. you, and I want to be the guy. I'm absolutely not interested in doing that. I know you're not, but I will, and you'll cry, not me. I doubt I'll cry. Probably just not do it. <laughs> then you'll cry. 
<laughs> Somehow you always make me cry. It's not cool. Anytime I cry, I'm gonna make you cry. Hard mode in Bloodborne is picking the worst class there is. And yeah. what would that be? You could be a waste of skin. I could be a waste of skin, but I could still be victorious. I don't think waste of skin is necessarily that bad. It seems to be like kind of the... What is the class uh, the from... naked one. Yeah. It's like... It's like you got no clothes. The you're like you're Condemned a wanderer. or yeah, something? Uh, channel, no. Doubt it. But I don't think... I think waste of skin is the one that's like... You start, at a, you start at a low level, but then you have more, like, slightly more room to customize as a result. I love being guppy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. You got some super guppy shit happening right now. Oh, this freaking guy was hidden in the corner. I couldn't even see him. There he goes. Oh, yeah. 2S1K Carl the second up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. Chat, where did I leave the Joker card? It was like way back there. Wander? Not Wanderer. I know what you're talking about, though. Deprived. So the Deprived. Yeah, that sounds right. That's it. I went to the arcade. Sucks ass in here. It's not very good. Gave the donation machine one penny and it broke. I'm holding the Joker card. <laughs> I was asking where the Joker card was. I was holding the Joker card. Let's, uh... Glasses are on your head, Northern Lion. Let's go fight the boss. <laughs> Dayquil. Whoa! <laughs> Fighter, Fighter of the, of the Nyquil. Nyquil. Whoa! Yeah. Acetaminophen. <laughs> Whoa! Not sure if you can use it to make narcotics or anything. I don't really know, actually. Ear shot. Oh, that actually works on bombs. All right. I don't really like Fear Shot, though. I got it, but I don't really like Bad it. Bad for the loss. I don't mind it for everything else. It depends. Like, it's really good against some enemies. Like, Gurglings, Gertie Jr., it's really good. I don't like yeah, using Some just it. don't know what to do with it. Just get stunned and stuck in place. That's the best, yeah. But enemies that have, like, uh, jumping moves and teleport moves are super annoying. They kind of glitch out a little bit. And now, will you be playing Bloodborne 2 when it comes out? Yeah, that's my intention, at least. <laughs> Not Bloodborne 2, sorry, Blood Bowl 2. I got confused. Oh, I thought yeah. you were serious. I, w I am intending on playing uh, Blood Bowl 2 when it comes out. I, I got into Blood Bowl eventually as a result of that league. I, uh, I really liked Frozen Cortex. Like Frozen Cortex. Um, I'm, I'm playing on Blood Bowl 2. Notice you used the past tense there. Yeah, well, I haven't played it recently. Oh. The game still exists. You want to get semantic Doesn't about it? it? Yeah. Oh. Probably would still be playing more of it if uh, anybody else had decided to play it. That's the that's the tragedy of the indie game multiplayer focused uh, situation, though, I guess. I found one on Steam the other day that's like a four-player bullet hell game where we all just shoot at each other yeah. in like procedurally generated rooms and it looked real sweet. What's it called? And it was local only. I don't actually remember the title. Oh, that's a great promotion for them. Well, I wasn't intending it to be a promotion. I just thought it was a cool idea. Just kind of sad that, you know, I can't play it. Yeah, Maybe. local only stuff is a little annoying. Okay, Spirit of the Night, Dark Matter. Cool. I have. Line, when Americans buy cold medicine, we have to give them our driver's license and sign an affidavit with the FBI. <laughs> we do have to give them the driver's license or really? prove that we're like over 18. <clears throat> and some places make you write down your name on a list. Is that all cold medicine or just like Sudafed? Uh, whatever has the stuff you can like make meth with, I guess. That's crazy, man. I don't really know what it is. Our so. Nyquil and Dayquil aren't even locked up over here. Oh, they're not locked up. You just oh, have okay. when you bring it up, they're like, hey, hey, you gotta tell us stuff. That's pretty wild. It's not really that inconvenient. I mean, I don't plan on making any weird drugs with it, so I don't really care. Yeah, but I mean, it's kind of a weird... I guess. It's, it's weird not, that people do that. It's not really an invasion of privacy, but it's kind of like... I don't need to give you my driver's license to buy medicine. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's medicine. I think, honestly, what's a bigger deal is how the, the razors are all locked up. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. That freaks me out. I mean, I guess it's because, you know, theft, but 
I'm not gonna ever steal a razor in my entire life. I promise. Just let me buy them like a normal person. <laughs> and then the like the ones here, they're locked up. They have like the the weird turn cranks. I don't buy <laughs> razors because I use like I use a electric razor. Yeah. But I think you like turn the crank and it makes like a really loud noise. So I don't know if when you do oh that, like God. like somebody from the store comes over and is like, "All right, just what keep, you a, doing? keep an eye on this guy. Just make sure like he doesn't." Uh, he doesn't steal those Gillette Mach 3s. This guy's over here is in the danger zone. We gotta watch out for him. Nick's so defensive about not making drugs? What? Yeah, that's true. Was I being defensive? I thought I was being very not defensive. He thinks the lady doth protest too much. I want to explain that tweet I did earlier about KY Jelly. Did anyone understand that joke? I didn't even see that joke. I said, like, has anyone ever accidentally just thought that maybe it was Kentucky Jelly? Because KY is a state code I, for yeah, Kentucky. Yeah, no, I, I understood the punchline. But I don't think anyone got the joke. I, I think maybe they got the joke. Oh, really? I was really hoping they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, though, you know. Somebody's like, I was in, I'm in Kentucky, can confirm we have Jelly. Like, that doesn't answer the, the question at all. Maybe it needs like a little punching up. Maybe. Can you guys help me with that joke, maybe? Punch it up a little bit. I really um, need to punch it up. Conquest fight. It's like the maybe best fight you can have. it's just not funny? Come on, that's rude. I still don't get the joke at all. Maybe it's just not funny. Just needs a little punching up. I'll give you some Kentucky jelly. If you were from Kentucky and you said that, then that would be pretty sweet. But otherwise, not really. Oh, Conquest. Man, we're like really in time with one another on this one. I could go faster if you want. It's just not really threatening me. <laughs> Might actually yeah. finish the segment on time. Still doing well for health. Still, you know, got three bombs shooting out of my face, so I'm doing fine. I'm glad to hear that. I mean, I don't think there's a loss on this run. Probably. I don't really think that this complements Guppy very well, to be honest, but yeah, I kind of really, don't care. Not really spawning as many flies as I'd like, I'll be honest with you about that one. I appreciate the honesty. The IV bag combo is pretty sweet, though. Like, Sparky Sparky Boom Man just subscribed. I IV, like your name, thank you. IV bag plus, uh, plus Maggie's bow. Helping me out a lot here. Give me a lot of bonus damage. Isn't that like a southern term? Like a southern United States term to call someone a bow? Yeah. Like B-E-A-U-X or something? Yeah, I think so. What does that mean? And it's like the it's the masculine version of bell. Oh, bells and bows. Mm -hmm. You got it. Sounds like stuff you'd have at like the dog show. I don't know if you really would have it at the dog show. They're not really renowned for their concessions. No, bells and bows on the dogs, I mean. What did you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite way to piss off Northern Lion is to just tell jokes that don't make any sense until he gets angry. <laughs> <laughs> bring this up all the time. It's that comic. Yeah. The guy's like, you know, just joking. I was Jokes on them, <laughs> I was pretending. And I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> You, you make your own destiny on that one. You manifest destiny, even. Yeah, that's a reference to the thing that exists. <laughs> you got See, me. He's so cynical that you can't just let it go. You gotta point I'm it out. I'm not cynical at all. It's just... The joke doesn't make any sense. That's fine. I'm not going on a long tirade about it. I'm just reacting in the way that you would react to a joke that makes no sense. Which is a non-reaction. Oh, I got feet. I guess I can fly more now. And open in some golden chests. See, what should happen is when you can fly a second time, you should get super flight, and that allows you to go above the ceiling and find a secret area. Yeah, you can pitch that to them. I will. Sounds like it could be cool. It could be like, instead of a crawl space, it could be like an attic. Yeah. Got it. Would you be into that chat? Would you like to go above the ceiling? See what's up there? It's gotta be good. I'm, I'll just make it, man. Oh, what if Superflight lets you go back one floor and it's full of stuff again? 
So it's like a forget me now kind of, but in reverse. Yeah, yeah, there's something to be said for that. You make it, we'll test it. Wait, I can just make it? Yeah, just make it, man. Mod it in. There's a whole That's subreddit sweet. for it, the modding of Isaac. Alright, I want to go read stuff about that. Maybe I can mod some Isaac. They modded my cats into the game. Oh, that's sweet. That was pretty cool. Very flattering. That's how you know you've made it on the internet. People are modding. Cats start showing up places. Yeah, people are modding your cats into stuff. Like you're not even good enough. We need all of them. The whole family. Oh, we already did that back in vanilla. So. Uh huh. Is there a Kate mod? I don't know. You can make it. Chat, where's Kate mod? With an eight. She likes that. You can make that if you want to. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, snap. Hold up. What a crawl space. What about it? That ace of spades in it, man. Oh. Crazy good. I'm getting pissed off with my crawl spaces, man. Uh, mysterious liquids in it. Yeah, they don't have anything in them. Usually, just like a chest and then like two pennies. No, like, it's got oh, pinky eye. Quick, pinky eye is pretty good though. Yeah, like, I know it. Oh shit! Crawl space. Then you go in and it's like a, a freaking one penny. Lovely. Hey NLP, how's it going? Kate makes she a surprise shelves. What? <laughs> What happened Is that to the, the mod? <laughs> what happened to the Joker card? Are you you must be higher on over the it. counter pharmaceuticals than I am right now? I just used the Joker card like two seconds ago to go to the devil. Or, yeah, the devil room. How do you think I, the Sister Maggie showed up? NL sounds so dead after Nick told those jokes. I killed him. <laughs> Pretty much sucked all the morale out of me. Oh, goofball, bring it yeah. back though. Goofball, yeah, goofball, bring it back. Mishy Pudding, thank you very much for the subscription. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. Very appreciative of that. Um, let's take bad gas. Oh, crawl space. Bet there's nothing good in it. I bet dollars to fucking donuts. You get ace of spades. I want donuts. That's the secret. We're playing dollars to donuts. I'm betting donuts and getting dollars, baby. People love donuts. You I did not. I did not get it. What'd you get? I got a, a ringworm. Oh, yeah. I had that trinket earlier, so. That See makes how that sense. Goes. You mine the donuts, the dollars take care of themselves. Alright, this ringworm effect is uh, suboptimal, I'd say. Doesn't do anything. You sound a little slurred there, NL. That's actually not the result of NyQuil and cough drops. It's actually just, you know, my throat is, like, really irritated. Mm. I expected to go to, you know, I'm always a little pissed when I go to the doctor, and they don't just, like, give you medicine. They're like, we're going to take a wait-and-see approach to this. Run some, really? Run some laboratory tests, see if you have a bacterial infection. I was like, thanks for being responsible, doctor. Why can't you just give me medicine so I can get better in two days and yeah, maybe it'll create like a fucking super bug that wipes out half our population in like 50 years, but I'll be able to get some work done in advance of that. You should just kind of like put your foot in the door as they close and be like, but wouldn't you just like to start me up on something just in case? Yeah, it's like, all right, you don't know if it's a virus or bacteria. I'll tell you what, just give me like a course of antivirals and a course of antibiotics. Yes. Yeah. It'll work out. Fuck it, throw some like Percocet in there just in case it starts to hurt tonight. <laughs> just give me the. You should take a test when you're like, you know, 18, 21. And then they should just basically write you a blank prescription. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright, that's a bad idea. Now that I think about it, that might be dumb. Well, alright, so why would that be dumb? It sounds like a great idea to me. Let's go over the reasons why that's a good idea. What if you, like, just, you know, become a drug addict after you're in your 20s? Yeah, but you took the test, though, so that probably couldn't happen. Right? That's what the test was for, to see if you're a drug addict. Right, yeah. You wouldn't, like, it would test that. It would know if you had the potential for it. Nick, help me not get trapped in this, like, obviously fallacious reasoning. 
Because I know that you're being facetious, but I don't know how to let you know that. Well, that's what the whole joke is. It's fun to watch you figure out a way out of it. There is no way out. It's like... Yeah, there is no way out. It's like you surrounded me in a wet paper bag. I'm already out of it. I just had... <laughs> it's just awkward for me to have to flail a little bit to break the obviously quite pervious surroundings. Pervious? You can huh. use that, for sure. I don't think I know that word, actually. It's like impervious, but without the M. Oh, got it. Pervious. Mishy pudding? Is that like mushy pudding? No, it's totally different. I like that. Thanks very much, Mishy pudding, for the subscription. Oh, I like all of these chest items, though. Yeah, it was all pretty stats, good. stats, penetrative shot. Well, I don't like this poop over here, but I like all the other ones. Oh, split shot. What does that do? Nothing. Yeah, I think it, it does nothing. Nothing. First shroom, double adversary. That makes sense. Oh my god, too much damage. If I die on the chest, it's gonna be sad. How much HP you got? Three and a half. Three. I believe. I believe you can do it. Freaking adversary took way too many shots. Oh, magic mushroom. That's, That's two good. all stats up in two rooms. Yeah. But wait, there's more. You're gonna give me another one. Maybe. That'd be sweet if you could be like the DM of Isaac and I'm playing around and you're like adjusting the game on the other end as I play. I didn't give you two guppy items and then no guppy items and then a joker card in the cathedral. <laughs> when you have 12 HP on the cathedral, no spirit hearts, I'm gonna give you <laughs> nine lives. <laughs> That's how it's gonna work. It'll be fun though, I like that. Thank you, Bertundal, nine months in a row. You and me could have had a baby. Thank you very much. I have defeated the rebirth run. I'm nearly there. I'm fighting a room full of poop. Poop monsters. As far as the eye can see. You can take as much time as you desire, Nick. Really? Yeah, go ahead. It's not how this usually works. Yo, in Buffalo, they put condoms in the razor box, and it makes police siren noises when it's held open. <laughs> When Kate and I were actually at the <laughs> pharmacy, like, um, I guess it was a couple weeks ago, somebody went up to the cashier and was like, uh, where's the condoms? The cashier was like, in the condom aisle, just down here. I was like, kid, you gotta, are you trying to humble brag to the cashier? You gotta at least look around before you ask where the condoms are. What he should, he basically went up and was like, what do condoms look like? I don't know. <laughs> I'm imagining the kid walking in like, Taking three steps, looking left and right, and then just shrugging, and then walking up to the counter. Yeah, he's like, well, you know. I tried. There's the blood pressure machine. I don't really see anything else. <laughs> oh, Willie, I doubt they wanted those babies. I don't know the context of that statement. It's the truth. Did you take the pickaxe? That's a pretty good item. I didn't even get the pickaxe, actually. Oh. I hope I'm going in the right direction this time. You should go in the right direction. I went in the left direction. Mm. I hope it's the correct direction, though. I wouldn't advise that. All right. Sounds like it's a bad way to go. Aren't condoms always close to the counter? Not not no. at our pharmacies. Usually they're just in the like they're in the same the way you'd find shampoo. They're in like an aisle with other sexual health related stuff. Yeah, and mine they're completely on the other side, but uh, completely away from the counter actually. You shouldn't Not be sure what that's all about. Shouldn't be embarrassed to buy uh, buy condoms from the drugstore. You know what's really embarrassing? You're like 19 and your two year old starts throwing a tantrum in the baby food aisle of the drugstore. Mm. Think about that. Suboptimal. You'd be really embarrassed. Not because you have a kid, but because they're very poorly behaved because you don't have the requisite skills to be a parent, which is not a, a direct function of your age. Always. I'm just saying. There's a, it's just a little bit of it, though. Like, when you bring up, for example, you know, a box of condoms and some lube or something, up to a counter is like a, you know, 55-year-old woman. She's going to look at that. And she's going to we'll be like, wait a, a minute. Is this guy about to have consensual safe sex? 
Is this adult about to do something that adults quite frequently do? I know, but do? it's just like, you don't want them thinking about it. <laughs> Better than going off with, like, you know, anti-diarrhea medication and, like, a bunch of Pedialyte right. or something like that. Yeah, that's I like, know, I don't... That might not be for you, though. People, well, yeah, the condoms might not be for you either. I don't know. They probably are. She doesn't Who give buys a shit, condoms man? not for yourself? Do you know how many times she's gone? She's had this exact same situation happen. Yeah, no, you're completely right about that. It's, like, it's just a stupid thing. I don't get the trope that like you know a man should be embarrassed to buy tampons for his wife. What is I'm like less embarrassed to do that actually? How stupid would you would the, would the retail cashier have to be to be like, whoa, this guy's buying <laughs> tampons. That's weird. What is he gonna do with those? I can't even. Why a man buying tampons? I can't even imagine. <laughs> I like that you faced away from your mic when you said that. <laughs> what the pot? What is he doing? <laughs> you know these are for ladies, right? <laughs> I want to see that. How does that trope even that exist? Like the guy's gonna be like, oh, I don't know. I'm really embarrassed to be buying these tampons. <laughs> no, honey, I can't buy you tampons because the cashier is going to look at me weird. Take a couple Midol and get your ass down to the drugstore. Uh -huh. Get me some condoms while you're there. Yeah. I think the tampons are fine. It's just the condoms that are just kind of just slightly off. Nah, man. I finished the game, by the oh, way. Oh, sweet. We're going to run three minutes of ads, and when we come back, we're going to play some Goofball Goals. Thank you, aka Loves, for the subscription, and uh, we'll see you in three minutes. See you in three minutes.